everybody. My name is RJ. Uh, I am currently rehearsing the hilarious show Boeing Boeing at the Actors Go to Parkersburg in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Uh, I'm going to be coming to you the next few weeks while we prepare for our opening night. Uh, we run the first two weekends of June. I'm trying to get a good angle here. First two weekends of June. Um, we've been working hard and we have a great cast and it's going to be a lot of fun and I thought it might be fun for everybody to see how we put this all together and what all it takes to put on a show. So I'm going to take you <clears throat> on an inside look at some of our rehearsals, uh, some other things that we do to get a show ready. So hopefully I won't be too boring and you'll enjoy it. You'll get to meet uh, uh, all my other fellow cast members, uh, the directing staff, lots of people that are involved with the show. Oh, you, I can see myself reflected in my glasses. That's fun. <clears throat> um, so Anyway, hopefully this will entice you to buy tickets. You can get tickets at our website, actorsguildonline.org, and uh, come join in all the fun. So let's start. I'm gonna take you on a bit of a tour of our set. It is not done, of course, because we are still several weeks away from opening. So uh, you'll get to see what it looks like right now in its interim stage. So let's go take a look. Okay, so as promised, this is our set. This is our backstage area. That's the back wall of the theater you're seeing there. And of course, ladders and all the things necessary to build a set. <clears throat> um, lots of interesting things. Let's actually start over here. Right out here, it's really dark, but that's the doorway into the theater. That's where we come in to start stairway up to our costume shop in our rehearsal hall where we rehearsed for a long time there's our director hello He's, you'll meet him more later we will talk to him but this is the back of our set as you can see lots of doors it is a farce and as we know farces are all about the doors so we are now going through the main door of our set so you can see we have door number, door number one, desk with some lovely things on it, door number two, door number three, our swinging door into the kitchen. That's the door we just came through, <clears throat> which is the main door of the apartment for the show. Door number four, a bar, that of course will have a back on it. Door number six, door number seven, I think I miscounted, but that's okay, we have seven doors. Um, so of course all the walls are going to be painted and look all lovely and everything. So, oh there's Megan, our assistant stage manager. So there will be a beanbag chair that lives around here that we do some fun things with. There's the seats looking out and hopefully we won't see any of these empty come performance time. And then swing around here, these are our chairs. This is Morgan. She plays one of the characters in the show. You'll meet her. This excellent man here is Jeff Bond. He is our photographer. Uh, this is a trampoline that will not be a trampoline. It will actually be a coffee table. Um, yes, that the jumping will not actually happen in the show. Uh, so that's our set of what it looks like at least right now with uh, several weeks till opening. So uh, you'll get to see it more and more completed as we go along, and that'll be a lot of fun. Oh, there's Lindsay. She's yet another character in our show. It will meet all these people more specifically later. But for now, that's the tour. Hello? Yes, that's right. No, you didn't talk to me. It's better. Yes, it's better. Who can that be? I'm just calming and going. It's not like 
the station. You have to wonder why there are so many people in Paris. It's much more peaceful back home in Wisconsin. It wouldn't be so crowded in Paris if the Americans didn't keep piling in. No, I suppose not. And do you want to know, and what do you want with all these bags? I thought you only here on a visit. Well, I always believe in being prepared. I hope you're not going to stay too long. Goodness me. You know, if you don't mind my saying, you're not very welcoming to your boss's guests, are you? I'm only telling you for your own good. Just wait and see. People coming and going all the time. You'd have been better off at the station, and there would have been more room <coughs> for your beds. All right, we just finished our tour, and there's a guy here who you saw in the tour, but I wanted you to meet officially. Let's swing around and get him. <laughs> This is David. Hi there. Oh. Hello. He, he is our director. He is the one that barks orders at us and tells That's us right. he tells us where to go, both on stage and life. Um, <laughs> so, David, uh, we're introducing the folks to Boeing Boeing. They just took a tour of the set. Uh huh. Um, so, tell us what it was about this show that made you want to direct it. It's one of the funniest shows I've ever seen in my life. Outside of Noises Off. It's one of the funniest things, I, maybe the funniest thing I've ever seen. I saw the off-Broadway, or the Broadway revival of it, and I laughed and laughed and laughed, and so did the rest of the audience. And so when I saw that it was going to be on the slate for the Guild, I thought, that's the show for me, because I like to laugh. No pressure. That gives us no pressure to, you know, to be funny. Um, what else do you want the people to know about the show? <sighs> You're really putting me on the spot, aren't you? <laughs> I love that. Um, well, I knew that it was casting was going to be very important in the show because it's one of those shows that the timing has to be super. And I have been blessed with getting six people who are just absolutely on top of everything. So that's made my job a whole lot easier, but it's the most blocking I have ever done for any show I've ever worked on. You can verify that. I mean, it's almost like choreography it, because it's opening one door closing another turning around people turning at the same time people turning away at the same time and stuff going on everywhere so it is and me, madcap and me being on my knees a lot a lot a i lot. Don't, don't know why being obsessed. thrown to the ground and a lot of kissing going on a lot You gotta do. Yeah, you know you what I mean. <clears throat> so, uh, tell them why they should. Why should p these folks buy tickets to our show as opposed to uh, Captain America or X Men or one of those big movies? Live theater. You can't beat live theater. That's a number one. To laugh in out loud with a bunch of other people who are laughing. You can't beat that. Live theater.
That's why. There's nothing like it. Nothing and, like and it was the original 3D entertainment. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to meet some more people, and uh, we're about to take some press photos, so we'll take a look at that here in a minute. So, e fun. Signing off. You take my advice, you get married. Why are you still worth it? Oh, I intend to. Oh, but now that I've seen Bernard's setup, uh, I think I'll wait a little while. Oh, that's a mistake. <laughs> This isn't the life for you. You must die. You have to have your wits about you. You have to be in your physical prime. <coughs> Who says I'm not? Oh no, monsieur, oh no. It's obvious, monsieur. If I may say so, it's obvious to the naked eye. All right, Bertha. Th th thank you for our chat. Would you mind giving me some peace? Oh, very yeah, good, monsieur. It's gone just a little bit far. It's, 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 it's just a little bit too much. Oh, very good, monsieur. Goodbye, Bertha. Goodbye, monsieur. Goodbye. 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 Well, I think I'd better go into the other room. <laughs> you do what you want. Oh, I'll have a little rest. <sighs> they pitch up from the provinces totally out of self -dicked. All right, so here we are about to start our pictures. There's yeah. Mary, our assistant director. There's Nikki, Seriously. our costumer. <laughs> and there... I'm a happy camper. I love you guys. Um, you know, you know, I have to do for you, Lindsay, is split your towel. Oh. So. Split your towel. Look my towel! And for you, um, Gretchen, um, you need yellow shoes, yellow but shoes. I, need, I need to mark your towel. Okay. If you want me to put Velcro on it, I need to mark it. So if would you play with it tonight when you guys see Okay, so here's the deal. Yeah. <clears throat> That's Morgan. She plays Gabriella, who is an Italian airline hostess. Alright, this is Lindsay. She plays Gloria, an American airline hostess. And this is Brittany, and she plays Gretchen, a German airline hostess. So, as you can hear, theater people are loud. I told them I was filming that they should be quiet, and they just didn't do it. So, but uh, we're having fun at the Actors Guild of Parkersburg. Ooh, day one of Take Off With Us, the behind the scenes look at Boeing Boeing. This is Ronnie, he plays Bernard. He, in the play, is engaged to all three of the ladies. All three engaged to. Hmm, how will that work out? Come see the show. He will not be using the cell phone in the show. And, and why would that be? It's anachronistic. <laughs> now explain what that means to people. <laughs> Doesn't fit the time period. Because the time period for the show is? 60s, before cell phones were invented. Swinging. Right. Swinging. Yeah. Viewers might recognize Ronnie Talbot from the hit CBS show, Big Brother. Ooh. Ah. Oh, one of those matches! Yeah, yeah, Ronnie. Yeah. This is Heather. She plays Berta, the French maid. Hola. How are you today? Hola? I know. Whatever. She said hola. With because the I was maid. speaking I was speaking Spanish to everybody yesterday. <laughs> Heather hola. and I Heather and I have done a million shows together here at the Actors Go to Parkersburg. So it's fun to be on stage with her again. Although we haven't really been on stage together, together a no, whole lot. We're even, not. Even shows we're in together, we don't share stage time in a lot. Hairspray, we had like a, a scene. little bit, yeah. I was I was a motor mouth Maybell, she was Edna. <laughs>
I mean, obviously, that's perfect casting for that show, as you can see. Hello. <clears throat> so she just arrived, and she's waiting like the rest of us to get our pictures taken, but they're concentrating on them damn women. But so I play a character from Wisconsin. <clears throat> we have the French maid, we have the Italian airline hostess, the German airline hostess, uh, Ronnie, who you met a minute ago, he's American. The one, we got all kinds of accents going on in this show. It's insane. So what's it like trying to um, keep your French accent when you're hearing the other accents? <laughs> I was just like, I am not German. I am not German. I am not Italian. I am not Italian. I am not German. I am not Italian. That's all that goes through my head. I'm lucky. I just got to talk. I don't have to do the accent thing. Although I have a bit of a one, I've been told, but I didn't even realize it. <clears throat> so, anyway, so we're having fun. Oh, I'm being called. I'm being called. Uh, so we'll talk later. After this, the two guys in there. Okay, so that's it for week one of Take Off With Us, behind the scenes of Boeing Boeing at the Actors Guild. Uh, I am home relaxing after uh, rehearsal, 
Um, you can see some of my lovely things behind me. I made this collage of Halloween, the movie series. I love horror movies as much as theater. Um, I have my little uh, Poe Dameron Deadpool. I am a geek. I'm a theater geek and I'm a geek geek. And I'm proud of it. Um, I've changed into my Legally Blonde shirt. I just directed that show. It was the show before Boeing. So a shout out to my Legally Blonde peeps. I miss them. Uh, not that they're dead. I mean, I could visit them, but who has the time with rehearsal? But anyway, so I'm just sitting here. Um, a couple things I want to mention. Uh, obviously, early in the rehearsal process, we had some people calling for line. Um, what you saw was... Um, what you saw snippets of, I should say, was uh, Act 2 and Act 3, first time off book. Most of them, you know, a couple of actors carried their scripts. We're not going to mention any names of those naughty actors who were not off book when they should have been. But um, I hope you enjoyed the snippets. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing us taking the little photos, um, just a little behind the scenes glimpse. Uh, we're going to have a lot more. Uh, speaking of which, if there's anything, the reflection in my glasses is just distracting me. Uh, if there's anything you specifically would like to see, uh, any questions that you have for me, for my fellow cast members, for the directors, um, please don't hesitate. Send them to me. Tweet them to me uh, at Broadway Bobble. Uh, that's Broadway B O B L. Um, and I'll be more than happy to answer anything, show you anything you want to see within reason. Uh, it's an adult show, but it's not that adult of a show. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, we just want to have fun. We want to have fun. We want you to, um, your interest to be piqued to come see the show. Uh, speaking of coming to see the show, once again, I'd like to say you can order your tickets now, online, on sale, uh, actorsguildonline.org. Come see the show. Um, hopefully you've had a few chuckles uh, watching this and you'll get some more uh, within the next few weeks watching the episodes of this, but I guarantee you will get guffaw laughs if you come see the show. It is just hysterical. Um... I can't think of anything else off the top of my head right now, but if I think of anything, I'll, I'll say it next week. Okay, um, again, at Broadway Bobble, Broadway B-O-B-L, uh, if you have any questions or requests of things you'd like to see or things you want answered, the mysteries of theater revealed to you, um, or just comments, concerns, uh, tell me about your life and how this video blog pertains to it. Um, anyway, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next week. Bye. Really, it's really very embarrassing to have a scene in front of Robert. I'm sure he agrees with me. A donkey. Oh, 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 you know me. I never get involved in love stories. Say, he said the word, love. We have to tell everybody about it. Be proud of it. Yes, yes, but not so loud. Bernard! Bernard! Not so loud! All right, all right, all right. Go ahead. Fine. I'm going to calm down by having a bath. Oh, no, 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 You can't. Why not? He's going to have one. I am? Yes. Surely he can have one after me. No. What? I said a no. No, really. He's our guest. He said a no. No, 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 everybody has to take their turn in the line. Well, really, Bernardo, your friend is terribly considerate. Oh, but, but you have oh, one how are you this night? And you stand there and let him insult me? Shush!
Take off your 